Let's explore how we can import files into Fourscore, and this example will work for a single file or a batch import or a bulk import. And we're going to do this through the library function here on the top left. So we're going to give this a tap, and then we have the option to change the library that we're going to import these into. So in this example, you can see I've got rather a lot of libraries. It's possible to create another one by selecting the plus here, creating a new library, editing the current one. But in this example, we're going to take the library I've already got selected, which we can now see on the top left. So importing files is really straightforward. Head to the bottom left and click import. You'll see that there's a number of options for various music service providers, but we're going to take the native files import down here. So when we give that a click, we can see that we've got a range of different uh, places where we can pull the files from. In this example, because I've got them on my iPad, I'm going to choose on my iPad and then chart updates and I'm going to take the drum chart library as an example. So in order to import them, I need to choose one. So let's take this as an example. When I have selected my first file, I've now got the option to select all. So it, let's say this folder had a hundred or even a thousand different files in it. It's possible to select the first one, choose select all and then have them all selected. And it really is then as simple as clicking open. And when you do, that will process. And as you can see in this particular case, Fourscores recognize the fact that I've already got uh, either exactly the same or a number of similar files in my library. So in this case, uh, for this example, I'm going to click skip, but it's possible to duplicate where it will append the file name or overwrite, which will obviously mean it will overwrite any existing files. But do be careful with that, certainly if you've got annotations and things on your file because you won't get them back. Um, and that's as simple as it is.